Hello everybody, this is Bobby Mills with TheIndependent.com with another show, End Zone Online. Today we're at the famous Nebraska Christian layout here, a little bit west of Central City, and we're talking with head football coach, future Hall of Famer, Ed <laughs> Vaughn. I was like, how do you oh, like yeah, that yeah. one, man? You're already a Hall of it's Famer. It's already deep in here, so. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we got to start things out with a bang. Okay, fourth season, and is that correct? Yes. But you've been here a while before that, so. Yes, I, uh, I came in 2011. So. Okay. And Carl Ostrand and, and Coach Mankin still helping you out then? Yes, they are. So, so yeah, yeah. I feel really blessed to have them as, as guys. Uh, Carl does a really good job offensively. He's, he's uh, I call him an offensive guru because he knows his stuff and he knows what to do. He was also a good athlete. You know, he was, very was. good. We very either good. put him in our Hall of Fame, the eight-man Hall of Fame, this year or a couple, year. couple years ago. Yeah. yeah. Well deserving, no doubt about it. Yeah. So, three of the four years you've qualified for the playoffs, which is, I mean, it's, I don't know if it's further back than that, but when you're head coach and won at least one game, three out of those four, that's not a bad deal, unless you're wanting to go further, which everybody would want. <laughs> but that's still a very good record, I think, and I've seen those first-round playoff games the last two years. That's yeah. got to be, you know, that's got to be pretty satisfactory for the kids. It, it's been fun. So our seniors this year, you know, they've they've never known no. not being in the playoffs. They so, haven't, yeah. And they've had a lot of success just being on the team. But uh, we we definitely, you know, a lot of it goes back to who you have in, in school, who's your who your players are, and sure, and they've done a lot of good things and and continue to develop and improve. So, who developed the toughness here? I mean, I, I, those, these kids are tough, and I've been watching this for years. When I remember when I first came to this game, the school, oh, they're Christians, they won't be tough. It's football, Bob, and they are really tough kids. Um, Tradition, that's all you can say probably, right? You know, sometimes we question it. The well, I'm, I'm you know, sure you do. Yeah. And, uh, but it, at the same time, it's, it's the kids always seem to come out and play, and I think some of it is there's a challenge for us being a Christian school, but, you know, we really – put a lot of things on. I, I tell my kids, I don't care if we actually win or lose, but I, what I want is I want you to glorify the Lord and play your hardest for Him. And uh, when they buy into that mentality, they understand that there's a difference in them. And things will work out, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, you're doing the right yeah. way. Can we talk about some offensive players? Sure. sure. Because, I, of course, the one I want to talk about is Will too good because that's <laughs> what I've seen. But we'll go with your quarterback, Oliver Herman. Okay. What a great player for a sophomore. And, Josh is just telling me how he's developed over the year reading defenses better. Yeah, Oliver's really improved a lot. We've asked him this year pretty much just not to lose games, you know, do what you can. Yeah. And and if you can do that and just read the reads that you can make and throw safe throws, uh, things will, will go well. So we knew last year, um, you know, just saw good things from him in JV games. Yeah. Um, and so it's his chance to be able to play quarterback, and he's done a he's done a good job. He will run if he has to, but I don't think he does too much, does he? <laughs> You've he, got some he good backs. He would prefer to hand the ball off or throw it. Yeah, and Will Purdue is a great player, but I did not see him that day against Pleasanton. He was out. So will, tell me about Drew, him. Drew Purdue. Drew Purdue. Drew Drew, not yeah. Will. Yeah. yeah. So I think Will Purdue's an actor. What the <laughs> Yeah, Drew's a you know a very shifty, quick guy. Uh, he he always gives his hardest. Or gives his best. And he plays really hard, and uh, you know we've we've definitely used him for four years. He's as a freshman, he was playing some DB for us and and running back and everything else. So he's had a lot of experience, and and you know this year it's kind of his time to shine and show what he can do. Is he a little bit of a Swiss Army knife, a guy you can move around? He does. Yeah. Yep. So we can we can play him as a running back. Receiver's got really great hands. Uh, he's a kid that you know you send him out on a pass route, and we haven't really used him this way a lot this year, but. You know, you'll throw the ball up and he'll come down with it with two or three guys around him. So he looks like it. He's a competitor. And what about Gabe Langmire? He's a is that how you pronounce his last? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy, I'd hate to. Yeah, yeah. You know, if he gets it, look out. He's a you know he's a very his frame. I, I wish I had his frame. He's he's just a big kid and very muscular and very quick, very athletic. So he uh, you know we can throw it a little bit high and he can go up and get the ball and yeah. and it's hard to bring him down. He but, does have some hops too for his yeah, size. Yeah. yeah. And the O line, it's a D line that I was impressed with, but I'm sure, as Josh talked about on the way at the O line, pretty hefty bunch that can protect and, and open those holes for those bats. Yeah. And they were there last year, weren't they? At least most of two them. Two or yeah, three? Most of them. So this is probably the biggest line we've ever had. Well, maybe not biggest, but strongest line yeah. we've ever had. Oh. And so, uh, you know, 
just getting them in the weight room more and, and they've kind of developed and again you, they've been in the program for four years so oh boy most of them are you know a lot of them are seniors and so again it's their turn to turn to step in there and make they, something happen are they yeah and they're kind of a good example of the younger kids that you need to hit that weight room yeah so i'm sure that's a good summer deal for yeah. them. summer deal do they stick it are those <laughs> yeah I, I always wondered that not what how's that stuff do they some of them are not here. Yeah, it's it's a different it's a different situation here. Well, you must so, have it under control. Well, you know, a lot of it depends upon themselves that they have to go out and they're gonna have to lift on their own. Yeah. Um, we just don't, you know, with so, being so spread out, we might get four, five, six kids here. Well, in I the suppose. Summer, but it, the rest have to just do what they can on their own. I never thought about that until right now, and I told you I wouldn't spring anything on. Defense, Micah Davis. What about that guy? <laughs> There's another guy I wouldn't call oh, a name and run. Yeah, Micah has been uh, Jeez. definitely a, a very good fit for our school as far as, well, just a student, a great kid, but then also a good football player. And he's really grown into that. You know, like you look back as a freshman and you see where he was and now you see where he is. And, you know, we had him playing defensive end last year and he did a really good job, just, just always made the plays. And so then as a linebacker this year, he's just really – you know, tough-nosed kid, willing to stick his head into wherever it needs to be and, and go make plays. So he's done a really excellent job for That's us. That's going to come in handy Friday, the <laughs> way he plays at that linebacker He's, he's going to play well. And then, is that is it Seebeck? Is that how you pronounce it? Shevet. Oh, Shevet. yeah, there's an H in there. Yep. There's another guy I like. Yeah. And what, what's he tipped the scales at? These oh, 260? Probably 260, 270, Ooh. somewhere in there. He's, you know, he's got a motor, Terry does, and, and uh, uh, just – gets into people and then gets them out of the way and goes make plays. So <laughs> That's a good, good way to put it. We go back to uh, our Ravenna game when we played them. Ravenna had the ball first and goal on the one, and Terry stopped them three times in a row, and then they ran something else. The <laughs> That's not run that way anymore. Well, yeah, it was. we kept wondering if they're going to go outside. And <laughs> he kept playing the middle, and he, he stuffed them. Yeah, he, well, yeah, we won't comment any further on that. You think you're but Owen Morris, another guy I was impressed by the other day at yeah. Pleasanton game. Yep. Jeez, and, and uh, the sophomore Brody Flynn, is it? Yep. There's been Flynn's here since God's been a child. <laughs> Seems like anyway. So he's, I mean, as a sophomore, are you impressed with his play? Brody's really done a good job. I mean, he's a pretty physical kid. You know, he's willing to stick his head in and, and, and hit. I'd uh, like to get him bigger, but... You know, well, he's, yeah. done, he's done good for, for his year of school and, and just for his size. I've really appreciated what he's about. I mean, he leads our tackles or second in tackling about every game. Is he, he, what is he weigh? Is he weigh a buck oh, 60? I don't know. I don't even know. I, I, I don't know what he weighs, but he hits like he weighs 185. But So, here's a big question. How do you, what, what's your game plan for Saturday night? <laughs> how to stop these guys? It's down there, and is it in Hebron? Yeah, it's in, in Hebron. Boy, I saw him play Heartland, which is a very good football team. And, oh, my goodness. I, I, that linebacker, I think, is the best I've seen in eight-man football. Yeah. Uh, lateral movement, but uh, I'm not sure if their Sam Sauerdijk is going to be playing or not. But uh, And they'll throw, and you know that. Oh, yeah. They, they, would, they threw it like five times coming into that Anderson game in a couple. And it's like, okay. Everybody down the line, down the line, has been put on red alert that this kid can throw. So, uh, what do you think of the match? Well, you know, they're they're a tough team. They I mean, are. They uh, they have a lot of things going for them. Um, you know, they're a hard nosed football team. They want to run the ball first. Yes. And they do it well. You know, they have probably four or five plays that they just really live in. Yeah. In that area, and and they run it well, uh, and they block well. I'm really impressed with their with their linemen. They get off the Ooh. ball and they're physical and. Um, so we're going to have to be able to fill gaps and hold on to people and tackle and, and meet and match their, their physicality. I think you match up physic, physic, physically with them. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um, I, I would say that we're, we're close if yeah. not, not the same. So yeah, yeah, but we're going to have to, we're going to have to come and play and we, uh, we've been trying to get our kids just all week to understand, you know, this is going to be a different game. This is going to be a yeah. different level. Well, yeah. I, we haven't. We haven't played somebody as physical as these guys yet, and we've played some pretty physical teams. Oh yeah! But just the number of them, um, you know, I kind of look into them and their quickness. So they almost remind me of Riverside uh, in a lot of ways. Good. But I think there might even be a little bit more guys that are more like quick as what Riverside brings to the yes. table. Yes. So yes, um, it's going to be a, a 
big challenge for us. They've got a bunch of David Lozano's like Riverside <laughs> does all the way down the line. So, well, I wish you the best of luck because that's going to be a good football game. Uh, kickoff is 7 or 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Hebron, uh, great field. I think it's a baseball field if I remember right. Uh, they might have moved now. They've but. moved it. It's, it's a nice football field. We've been there a couple years ago. So. All right. So let's get down. And, I don't think I have to tell them that. They'll get down and support you guys. Andy, thanks a lot, man. Pleased to meet you. Nice and uh, best, yeah, best of luck Friday. If Josh be on the camera, Bobby Mills on another end zone online. We'll catch you online with another show.